How hellish has this whole season been for you with the appendix and the thigh and yeah it's a tough season for me now it's uh, everything was good at the start of the season january february then i had this appendix in a uh, in march and uh, starting to be a little bit difficult after that i stopped two months because of that then uh, i had a problem in the back because i wasn't ready uh, yeah now uh, i'm starting to come back on the tour i'm still motivated but you know it's uh, it's difficult with uh, all the injuries i wasn't lucky but you know that's tennis. I know it's up and down, and I'm trying to go, to come back uh, as soon as possible. How's your health, man? Like, where are you now? Well, I'm better. I'm, I'm better. So I need to practice. I need more matches, uh, of course. But uh, that's uh, first tournament for for me after injuries in uh, in July. So uh, of course I'm I'm feeling better. I could practice well. So now I'm waiting for for matches. Of course, it's not the best preparation I had in my in my career. But you know, I'm, I think I'm ready. So in Marseille, you beat Gale. To reach the semifinals, were you feeling bad then, or how did this all kind of come out? Come about? No, just just came in a, in a night in a, in, Indi in Indian Wells at 1 a.m. Uh, waking up and I uh, told myself, "What happened? What happened? I can't. Impossible to walk. I was destroyed." And uh, then I knew something was uh, was strange, and uh, the, I did a scanner. It was appendix, and uh, I, I was close to peritonite. I don't know if you know the name in English. So it was very bad, and uh, that's why. Uh, there's a surgery there, and of course, after that, it was difficult. Right. Um, so now, what's kind of the outlook? Hardcore season, it's kind of a new start to the season. What's your outlook for, for the summer? Start to be healthy, first of all, to be, to be healthy, to have no pain. And then I know after that, I can play well. You know, uh, when I'm playing, when I have no injuries, I can be a great, great player. So, of course, that's main, my main goal. And then, of course, yeah, to, to try to, to play better and adjust. For the start to, to play, you know, because uh, was tough when Bredo and everything was difficult for me in Venezuela and Garros. So my main goal is to be able for the for summer, and uh, then everything can happen. Um, when you when you look at your career to this point, um, you know you peaked at world number seven. You have an Olympic medal twice. You got to a Grand Slam semifinal. You have 14 tour titles. Is that enough for you? Is that content as a competitor for you, or do you still need to accomplish more? No, I, I know. I know my career. I had a great career. You know, I'm happy with that. But you know, I'm still motivated. You know, I like to play tennis, so that's the most important for me. I like to practice, like to to go on a tour, to play matches, to compete with uh, with good players. So when I have this most still uh, this motivation, I think I can, I can play. You know, that's the most important. I am. Uh, I think I still can do great uh, great things on a, on a tour. First, I need to be healthy, of course, and then I'm sure I can play play some uh, some more years. And uh, I'm fresh, you know, mentally I'm fresh. I want to, I want to play, to, to enjoy the competition. And uh, yeah, it's great for me to be on the tour. You've gotten Zverev twice this year, semi-final at Halle on the grass, the final at Montpellier. I mean, they've, they've been tight matches. What is it about this guy that, that, that makes him so difficult? Yeah, of course, it's young. Young players are coming. It's the best, of course. He's winning many matches. He's top 10 now. So yeah, but uh, uh, when I'm playing good, you know, I, I think I can, I can play with this, uh, this kind of guys. Of course, Zverev is very good. Maybe if I have to win the, my first match, I can I can compete against him another time. So it's always uh, always good. Against a big hitter like that, what's the biggest challenge against somebody who's got that kind of power for you in your game, Richard? <sighs> right, to be clever on the court because he has, uh, he's so powerful. You know, I me, mean, I'm not. I, I haven't got this power, but I can do a lot of things on the court. Just try to mix uh, my, the rhythm, playing fast, playing slow. Sometimes drop shot, going to the net. So I try to, to mix my game. Right now in Canada, with Borfiga coming over, there are a lot of young kids kind of coming up, and there's a lot of attention on them. And you know, you know, they're on they're on the cover of magazines. They're being on television, all that kind of stuff. You were in that same situation too, as a nine-year-old being on the cover of a magazine. What what comes with that? What what's is there a pressure that comes with that? How do you look back on on every you know from being a young kid, all eyes being on you? Yeah, of course it was. It was pressure on, on it. Of course, it's pressure. You know, it's uh, it's difficult. You need to to have good good people around you. I think it's very important. I think the coach is very important. Both guys, so he's good for that. He has the experience. A lot of uh, guys are coming from France who are practicing with these guys, with uh, Auger, with uh, Shapovalov, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm following them. You know, I'm following these players. They're playing very good. You know, they are great mentalities. They practice hard. 
they are very very good guys. When I see these players, I think they have a big big future for me. So uh, yeah, I, I hope they will play well. Of course, it's pressure for them, but you know, I think they can handle it and they can be in a, in a top ten very soon. Because uh, I really believe in uh, in these two players. For you personally, when you look back, was being that having that much attention on you a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a, it can be a good thing. It's tough to say if it's a bad thing or a good thing. Of course, in France, it was maybe a little bit too much. But uh, as I said, you need to have a great, great people around you. That's uh, that's the most important. You know, your coach you need to 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 have a lot of experience for that. Me, maybe some, sometimes wasn't that case, and uh, that's why. I think these players are, are good, uh, good entourage uh, with them. That's uh, that's uh, I think the most important.